I'm back in the basement. My voice. I don't know how they're doing this, but my voice is literally staticky. What am I hearing, bro? What's good, y'all? So ever since we played the final pin a couple days ago on my channel, the one that I was featured in, thank you so much again to Jordy Boy, I have been on the hunt for just some fire stories when it comes to indie games. I know a lot of times we play games where like the story is there's somebody chasing you down. You, you need to run, bro. Run, hide, collect, and dip, bro. That might be the same case with this, but I have a feeling that this story that we're about to get into on this game called The Windows Are Gone could be a fire story, bro. It's Halloween season, it's October. You know what I'm saying? Spooky season, bro. It's time to hit y'all with some good with some good scares. Oh, but hold on, oh. what's good? What nasty, what's good y'all? Welcome back hey, to another video for uh, today. Got a lot going on right now, bro. Not sure when this video gets posted, if it if it is posted, easyganglive.com if you are interested in coming hanging out with me this December. Me and some bros, me and the homies, me and the creators, me and the, me and the gang. It's a good time. But forget all that, bro. The windows are gone. Whose windows? Who did it? Jasmine Sullivan? I'm glad you asked, bro. Let's see what this is about. Haunted by grief and guilt after a tragic accident. You start seeing a house in your dreams. No matter what you do, you can't get its image out of your mind. You feel it calling for you. I can hear your heart crying out for me. So you answer it. The Windows Are Gone is a short psychological horror game made by Scary Cube. Nice to meet you, Scary Cube. My name is Berlin. This is the Easy Gang community. We we just be chilling. Your focus is on creating an immersive and disturbing atmosphere through the manipulation of narrative and audiovisual elements. Again, no promises, bro, but I am interested. Let's see what this is about, bro. Let's do it. Nationwide is on. Here we go. Sorry about that, y'all. Just had to get that out of my soul, bro. Scary Cube, let's see what you got. I'm hyped, bro. That must be the house in the distance. I already see way too many windows. Where do you live, a barn? A church? Maybe. In my dreams, I see this house. I know we all just saw this in the trailer. Just vibe with me for a sec. That's a, that's a Homer Simpson ass house, ain't it? I feel it calling out for me. That's a remix. Oh my gosh, bro. Yeah, you could drive over anything you want in that, bro. You could climb Mount Everest in, a, in this truck with them tires, bro. Ever since the accident. Okay, nice. We gotta think about it, bro. If something's haunting you, it's because probably you did something wrong. You have something to do with it. I don't imagine whatever I do, I can't stop thinking about this house in Mariana. I don't imagine ghosts just haunt you for no reason, bro. I think most ghosts, even in like movies, TV, they all have intentions, bro. Either it's generate, mm. so I answered it. So you move to Mariana to go see the house? Is this you in the moving truck? Where, where are you driving down, bro? What's up with the trees? This is like where Squidward moved to, thinking he could escape. No, nigga, bring your ass back to the block, bro. Living over there with all them other squids. Hi, honey. How are you holding up? You know, I'm taking it one day at a time. How, how was the funeral? I, I wish I could have been there for you. I didn't go. Yeah, I couldn't do it. I, I understand. She would have understood too. You know that, right? All right. And, and what about your new house? It's in Mariana, right? Quite a long way from home. Yeah. 
I'm on my way there right now, actually. I'll text you once I get there. All right, be careful on the road. Love you. Uh, you already got a new chick? Like, is, is, that, is that what we're reading? Unless that was his mom and Mariana. This, look how fast I can run. Oh, I'm pissed. Press tab to pick up your phone. No, they in formation, bro. They in formation. They either leaving or about to go, um, I don't know, hunt. Uh, from mom to you. All right, be careful on the road. Love you. I knew it. Uh, from me to mom. Hey, I just arrived at the house. I'll move the boxes inside and, and we'll text you later. Press M to pick up a map of the house. This looks like a scary game incoming, bro. I'm going to be real. Thanks for letting me know. Careful not to hurt your back, back with those boxes. Why do moms always do this, bro? And I know my mom finna watch and be like, well, what do you mean? Like, I know she just sat up, ears perked, got off the phone with granny. How do I grab this? This box says upstairs master bed written on it. Okay, can I grab it, please? Oh, oh, it's a mouse wheel. Oh, got it. Okay. Wait a minute, though. It says what, though? Upstairs master bedroom. Okay, so then we just look at the map, which I can't do if I have something in my hands. Let's just figure it out. Let's just figure it out. But you know, this is what I was about to say about moms, bro. And I know all y'all know. Why do moms, no matter how old you get, how big and strong you become, they always act like they gotta like warn you about things. Don't, bro. What is? What did she just say? Don't hurt your back now with the. I know. Do you see these? You don't get these from bad form. Hey, bro, I know how to lift a box, mommy. Then I call her mommy, and it's like, so I just put this anywhere, right? This house kind of, um, hmm, hmm. Upstairs master bedroom. Let's take a look at the house one more time. I don't want to judge his living environment, but hmm, you know? Okay, so you go upstairs. Yeah, I'm in the, I'm, yep. See the box is right there on the, yep, perfect. Look how fast I can move. Nah, there's too, there's too many themes going on, bro. This will mess with my mood too often. I'd only come down this hallway during December for Christmas. Nah, bro. Like you're walking into a, a damn box of gum, bro. I don't know. Then this nasty random closet just for waiting for an intruder to hide and do damage later. So I pause, bro. I'm a, I know. Let me just get it out the way. Yep, I got to check everything. I just moved here. I wouldn't even use this bathroom, bro. I'd just buy a pet chameleon and throw him in here and let him have a blast. Just get a Komodo dragon. Let him let him have the top floor. This is crazy. There's so much going on. Why is the kitchen so far from the front door? This is not comfortable. I would have had to put the... Nah, this is the best way. Nah, bro. The window right here? Somebody bust through, grab you by the neck, pull you out? Not me. You got to think about all scenarios when you live by yourself. A VHS tape labeled tape number one of my family. I could probably take this to a VHS player and play it. Say less. As the tape starts playing, I see a middle-aged man handling the camera. I quickly realize that the man is in the same house that I'm in. He's all smiles as he moves away from the camera and joins his family as they can be seen playing around in the backyard. I wonder if they're the previous owners of this house. His wife and children seem to be having a great time, laughing and running around. There's a moment where the wife comes up behind the husband and puts her arms around him. They both smile and briefly look at the camera. It's nice, really. But who's filming? Is it the lizard, the chameleon? I can't help but feel like there's something off, though. It's like there's an underlying tension, a sense of unease that's hard to describe. Maybe it's just me, but I get this feeling that things aren't as perfect as they seem on the surface. It feels like the happiness portrayed here is a deceptive lure tempting me to bite it and overwhelm me with its actual intentions. It's written on the man's face. It's like he's trying to hide something behind his smile. Yeah, the nigga want to be single again, bro. He said, yo, this family life ain't what it's cracked up to be. I don't even have neighbors. I can't even check out the neighbors, bro. I don't get no Miss Parker action at all, bro. Only some people will get that reference. The tape ends with when one of the kids trips and falls to the ground. While the mother tends to the crying boy, the father's disingenuous smile finally fades away as he approaches the camera to turn it off. Once he's right in front of the frame, though, I get an eerie feeling of intrusiveness as if he caught me prying on his personal life. The tape ends. It's a strange feeling watching these recordings of someone else's life. 
I can't help but wonder what happened to them, where they are now. Did they move away a long time ago? Or are they still together? It's like I'm peeking into a world that's not mine, a world that's both familiar and foreign at the same time. Have you never watched a vlog, bro? It is not this deep. Right, bro, he obviously filmed it. I mean, I'm not saying you was meant to see it though, but here for here go mom again. Everything good? Yeah, all good. Found this weird VHS tape. I think it's from the old owners of this house. My bad, my bad. Did you watch it? What's in it? Well, I was expecting you to lecture me not to do that, but yes, I did. Some weird stuff. I gotta get to work now, mom, please. Upstairs guest bedroom, okay. I can't right now, mom, I'm working. I know my mom like, dang, at least I'm not alone. Yeah, mom, you be blowing up my phone like this too, bro. Bro. <laughs> oh my gosh, I gotta get mama easy back on the channel, bro. We should have did like a, um, like, I don't know, like a... What happened to the box? I pushed right click. Is it back on the, on the... Don't tell me that. Oh, bro. Upstairs guest bedroom. So cancel and right click puts it back. That's good to know. Me and Mama Easy gotta do like a cooking video or like, I don't know, exploring uh, exploring a city kind of video. That'd be cool, which I think that'd be cool. I didn't know that the upstairs had a guest bedroom. Let me take a look. Oh, it's in the hallway. Okay. Here we go, it's around the corner. I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call this hallway chameleon twist. Cause you gotta twist and then you become a wrong way. Yep. Chameleon Twist got a guest bedroom and a bathroom. Chameleon Twist is also the, the name of a game I used to play as a little kid. Which actually, when I think about it, bro, it was literally you pick a chameleon and you just got to lick everything to move around. But yeah, bro, honestly, let's just not even worry about Chameleon Twist. I'm going to call it something else, bro. Minty Way. Huh? Okay. I'm here for the music. Living room written on it. That's got to be right here. I don't know if I would ever be inspired by my dreams to to like chase a a living situation, right? I would have had to consult more people, but I don't know what the accident was either. So who knows? He, he could have been at fault. Like I've moved so many times throughout my life, bro. I used to think growing up. Hold on, bro. Where where am I at? Oh, so, OK, hold on, because this is the hallway. Then you got downstairs office all around the hallway. I don't know what room that is, but I'll check right now. Okay, got you a little crispy office in the um. I don't like that music. I don't like that music failing. Who on the keys? This room is locked for some reason. I wonder if the key is somewhere around the house. Let's take a look. Downstairs bedroom. Oh Lord. There's no feng shui in this bitch. Oh my gosh. And you got barbed wire. What are you keeping out? What are you keeping in? What are you keeping in? What are you keeping in? What was I about to say? Oh, I was about to say, I moved so much throughout my life that as a kid, I used to think when I move out, I'm, I'm, not, I'm never going to move again. Like, once I move out, maybe maybe one move from like apartment to my, to my real house. I feel like I've moved even within this channel at least every year, if not max two years. And I don't think that's gonna change. That's crazy, huh? Upstairs guest bathroom. Okay, so that's down chameleon, chameleon twist, bro. <laughs> I, 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 we're already here. Yep, it's just a box of crickets from up. <laughs> oh, y'all just gotta let let me let me get the let me get the stupidity out quick. Upstairs master bathroom. I said bathroom, right? I guess we'll know in a sec. I know it's upstairs. I'll let mom know about the VHS. She stopped talking. Oh no, she's waiting on my text back. I'm sorry, mom. Oh. All right. Sorry, mom. Just moving. Just having to do big boy shit now. I'm on my own. You know, when I get to heaven, bro, I hope that, I hope that the Lord, nah, bro. There's no way I'm taking piss or dump in here, bro. Hell nah. Huh? Look like the inside of a salmon. Why is it? Why is the base? Oh, look at this dude at the front door. 
That's a girl. Hold on. How you doing? You look horrible. Like Lord Farquhar, bro. Hello there. You must be our new neighbor. Um, I suppose I am. Do you live nearby? I do, yes. A couple of kilometers that way. She points to her right hand side over here. My husband and I I live I live there. Welcome, welcome. Mariana is a wonderful town. Lovely people. Can you tell me about it? You look familiar. Do I know you or can I help you with anything, ma'am? Oh, I'm not sure. Maybe. It's what they say. Small world, you know. <laughs> Any case, we know each other now, don't we? Oh, yeah, bro. Oh, yeah, bro. She see you single. She came over here in her fresh red jumper. <laughs> oh, my gosh, bro. Took the rollers out. You're trying to get freaky is what I'm saying. Can you tell me about it? Sure. Well, Marianne is a quiet little town, but it's full of beauty. Oh, yes. Make sure you visit the... Arrakis Park when you have a chance. Uh, beautiful trees there. I see. Also, people here are known for their friendliness. That being said, I hope you understand that we take pride in our traditions. Please, don't embarrass us with your differences. That sound racist. That sound racist, bro. Because I ain't seen my skin yet. All I seen was a truck with big ass tires, bro. She said, I don't want your nigga tree here, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't help it, it's in me. Can I help you with anything, man? Right, get up on my porch. Well, I couldn't help but notice that the house had been purchased and that the new owner would be here today. So I baked you something special as a welcome gift. Um, You got here pretty quickly, huh? Why, yes, <laughs> I was anxious to meet my new neighbor. In any case, about your welcoming gift. I think you're gonna love it. I left it on your kitchen counter. How the f did you get my keys, bitch? <laughs> my mom is gonna kill me because I know I've been talking to her. Mom, she's racist though. So like, you know, somebody gotta hold the B word, bro. And it's not gonna be me. I'm sorry. That'll be my only one though. Sorry, mom. Bro, you think the people who made this game are like, bro, stop calling our character racist. <laughs> oh, bro, I'm just playing around with y'all too, bro. Sorry. You got inside the house? Oh, don't worry, my dear. I, I know this house inside and out. You know this house. This house has a lot of history. It's a very unique one. And in, in a way, I think you know it too. Every corner and every shadow seems familiar to you, doesn't it? In, in, in any case, you'll get familiar with it soon enough. All right then. Now do me a favor, my dear, and try some of that pastry I made for you, will you? I'm sure you'll love it. Okay, uh, just please stay here this time, all right? <laughs> Dog, can I close? Yeah, good move. Mm. Leave that bitch. Let me in. Sorry. So, leave the door open, bro. Walk like this, bro. Keep an eye on chameleon twist. Dog. Oh, I opened that. I did open that, but I don't remember seeing this. What even is... I'm hearing stuff. I'm hearing stuff. Inspect, sure. A plate of grostoli made by the neighbor. I'm not sure if I should eat this, but the smell is irresistible. What is this mosquito that keep coming back and forth in the sounds? I, I tried it. I tried it. It was good, though. This note just says... Welcome home. I assume it came from that lady, but where did she go? Oh my gosh. As I unloaded the boxes into my new house, I couldn't help but be reminded of the toll the trip to Mariana had taken on me. That combined with this odd encounter with the neighbor made me realize I was exhausted. 
I decided it'd be wise to take a quick nap in the master bedroom. Besides, I was curious to test the comfort of my new bed. You're gonna take a nap? You're going to take a nap without closing the truck? No, let me see if I can close the truck. Let me see if I can just finish the job. No, it won't let me. You're foolish, bro. As soon as she left, I would have went straight here and started breaking the door, bro. There's got to be a tunnel in here. Oh my god. The basement door is locked. I wonder if the key is somewhere around the house. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. That shit's locked on the other side, and that's a tunnel to her house. I promise. I think bro knows that, though. Even the fact that she said, I think you know it, too. It's like, yeah, they, they definitely... He even brought up the fact that he's seen her before. Now the mosquito is really gone, like never coming back. I'm not sure I'll get used to this bed, but it'll have to do for now. What kind of weird, like, like plop did you just do, bro? How you slow mo plop? How did you do that? Close your eyes, faster. This time, I didn't dream about this house. Oh nah, bro. You had one of them, you had one of them Gustoli dreams, bro. Probably because I was finally here. Yeah, she finna meet you in a lucid nightmare. Y'all ever lucid dream before? No. This time, I had a different dream. Don't tell me you had a dream about your neighbor. We didn't even get her name, bro. Farquhar, that's her name. Huh? My wife and I were, she's pregnant. We're in a hurry to the hospital. She was clearly in a lot of pain. I find myself in my car. Quickly drive, oh, I see the accident now. Quickly driving my wife to the hospital since her water had just broken. Honey, are you gonna be okay? Yes. Oh, yes, just avoid any bumps, bumpy roads, please. She gives off a nervous laugh. <laughs> Have you called your mother? Uh, no, I forgot. Can you call her once we get there, please? <clears throat> yes, of course. Thank you. And please remember the highway is blocked. Now please hurry. I will, hold on tight. Oh no, nah, bro, this is not a family vehicle. What? What? What is going on? Uh, Jessica, what? Bro, 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 bro. If I can do this while I'm driving, I don't need a wife, bro. I'm gonna be real. I need to get my shit together. Where are we driving into? Are we driving through a good jello right now, bro. I don't want to look at this. Can I stop? Can I get out? Like. Okay, now we're hearing drips. Don't do it. I don't want, bro, 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 bro. She about to hit me with something crazy. Nope, we made it out. Cool. I ain't never had a dream like that, bro. I remember one time I had this dream where uh, I had Elmo curtains. Psych. I'm not finna tell that story again. Y'all to get on my case. Keep aging me every time I try and share something vulnerable. Uh, God, what a horrible nightmare. That dripping noise. I heard it while I was asleep. Where is it coming from? Probably a sink. Yo, this dude's starting to piss me off a little bit, bro. Here come the mosquitoes back. Right on time. Mr. Mosquito in the quartet. Is that a bidet? How a house this old got a, got a second bidet? Is it his and hers doodle? Only other place to look would be down here, bro. <gasps> okay. Okay. And this is what it is the whole time. Wow. Get the tape. The accident. I could take this to a VHS player and play it. Then let's can we can we grab it, bro? Are you are you are you scared? Mm, get the fuck out! Get the fuck out! I want to let me out. Thank you. I gotta inspect this first. Oh great! There's a leak in the ceiling. I guess that's what I get for buying an old house. Hmm. I get a weird feeling about this though. I can't quite explain it. Maybe it's the constant noise. Maybe it's the water itself. I don't know. 
I just can't shake this odd feeling I have when thinking about it. But I'll see to it tomorrow. I just can't be bothered right now. I gotta get, gotta go back to bed. How about we grab this? We're going back to sleep, huh? Is that is that the goal, huh? Woo! It's a big ass house. Yeah, just 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 sleep, just sleep. Like, bro, who does this? Somebody with chronic nightmares, probably. All right, rise and shine, sunshine. So we're gonna go check on that on that sound now or what? From dad. <clears throat> Good morning, son. Uh, your mom told me you arrived in Mariana yesterday. How's it going? Hey, dad. Well, I mean, you know. You know, it's doing what it does best is what I'm saying. No, no. Sorry. And um, how's the new house? Is it is it all you were hoping for? I mean, it's OK. Yeah, I was bringing the boxes inside yesterday and got tired. I'll get back to doing that right now. Um, we'll do that after we do this. How about that? You seem to forget shit. The tape shows that a man who I assume was the previous owner of this house working in the basement with the camera sitting on the counter and pointing at him. OK, GoPro style. OK, he seems to be alone in the house, although I can just about hear his children playing in the backyard in the backyard. The tape is slightly damaged, but I can make out most of what's happening. For a few seconds, he just stays there in silence as if anxiously rehearsing his first words to the camera. When he finally starts speaking, I'm suddenly caught by a sense of uneasiness and I shiver slightly. The man also seems uneasy and disturbed. His words, measured and hesitant, give off a sense that he's trying to describe a feeling that he cannot fully comprehend, but that has taken over him. He speaks of a sense of impending da disaster, of a terrible event that he thinks is about to occur to his own family, to his family, sorry. He is less and less coherent until he is taken by his own emotions and accidentally drops the tool he was using on the ground. He starts crying, carefully covering his mouth so that no one notices him. He mentions the terrible event will be his fault. Watching him. I can't help but feel that his words are directed at me somehow. It's as if he knows that I'm here watching this and is trying to communicate with me. The way he talks about the events is as if they had already happened, but then why is he doing this? Why isn't he doing anything to prevent it from happening? And what's the point of these tapes? Sound design fire. They use your music at the right moments, bro. Like when the, in that conversation just now with that lady at the front, bro, when um when she had said that weird thing she said, I can't remember exactly. Then the music started, I was like, oh, okay. These are atmosphere pros. This is upstairs storage, gotta be, right? Yep. So upstairs is done, unless there's an upstairs hallway that we gotta do. Do I, do I reply to this? No. Dad didn't even text me back, bro. Like, that's why I don't, that's why I don't complain really when mom call. She won't hear me be like, mom, I'm working. She don't hear that. She just hear, hey, mom. Hey, mom. Hey, mom. Hey, mom. Yeah, no, it's still it's it's, it's still the same hour. Yep. Good. How you doing, though? You know what I mean? Like, you just got to kind of just let it happen. What is this? Upstairs main hallway. Did I do it? Cool. I'm out. We'll put you right here. How about that? Last but not least, she better not be standing right behind me when I get this. She better not. She better not. Kitchen. Stop. OK, back. Hmm. I couldn't do it unless that was a beach down there. Unless that was a beach and my neighbors are like acres away. I couldn't do it. I know I talk a lot of bull about, you know, survivalist lifestyles and all that stuff by myself. Couldn't do it, bro. I would need some. As I was bringing in the boxes, I couldn't help but repeatedly ask myself what I was actually doing here. Great first question. That's the same thing I think I said earlier. I acted on impulse when I bought this house, but the vivid and recurrent dreams I had after the accident plagued my Why are you acting like you don't know what he's talking about in the video if you also have an accident that plagues your mind and kept haunting me until I finally gave in? It's not like I didn't have a choice. Maybe it's the desperation to start fresh or the need to escape the memories of that dreadful night. But here I was in this unfamiliar place with no one but myself. 
For a moment, I questioned my sanity, so I took a deep breath, letting the musty smell of the old house fill my lungs. And with a sense of determination, I whispered to myself, I'm here now, and I have to make the most of it. Still, I felt like I needed to turn this into my new home, so I set out to unpack all the boxes and decorate the place. I mean, that's cool. Does she still expect me to eat that? Nah. You can open up the boxes, decorate the house to your liking. Oh, nah, you niggas tripping, bro. Um, Radio, what is this? DVD player, vase, fan, cushion, cushion, picture frame. Let's start with this. I can see this mean a lot to you, bro. Whoops. So the man in the in the VHS player, I'm not selected. I remember this trip to Sao Paulo. It was honestly, a, why you got it to the side? I was honestly a mess and a lot of things went wrong, but in the end, we still had fun. I, I, I had those kind of trips before. Afterwards, Jessica wouldn't stop making fun of uh, me for forgetting my documents at home. Also, it was your fault. You trying to project them to the whole trip, heard you. Go ahead and take this out for the DVD. How do I rotate the, you know what I mean? Like, oh, rotate, duh, Berlin, right here. That's the back. There it is. There you go. There you go, that's much sweeter right there, that's much sweeter. I like this ain't the most fun part of the game, but you know. Where do you wanna go then, bro? Right here? That's that's just an audio fan. That's just for, for brown noise. I can't sleep without without some brown noise going, bro. Okay, another base. We'll put that one like like right here. No types of feng shui going in right now. It was never here though, I'm gonna be honest. Do I have to look at the front door to see the time? Right? Like let's let's put it somewhere like 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 there we go. Like if I'm upstairs, hold on, what? Brother-in-law, to you. Hey man, how you doing? Hey, I'm a bit overwhelmed, honestly. If there, if the man on the on the tape already had a whole family, that couldn't be you, and you don't, you would have said that it was you if it was you, right? Like he would have said that. Yeah, same here. She was an incredible person. My sister loved you, man. I know. And she hated your guts. <laughs> Don't do too much, bro. She's, she's, she's literally gone, bro. Unless they just got that kind of rapport, you know? Let's see if we can guess the ending real quick, though. Let's actually try and, you know, put our deductive skills to use. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. But seriously, it wasn't your fault, man. Remember that? Oh, remember that. Right, 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 right. I don't know. I'm giving him like a like a like a Jack Septicai horrible horrible attempt, bro. I'm sorry, Jack. Take care, for sure, bro. I appreciate you. Thank you for checking on me. Oh my gosh! Look at this, Dan. Did you rob the whole forest? Damn! That's a good harvest. I feel like I already hear y'all saying, Berlin. We need to bring the Sims back, bro. I'm gonna bring the Sims back, bro. I I promise the Sims to like somebody like like every month, bro. We could do like a Sims like holiday little little quick series, my boy Ab man. We could do that. Okay. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Here we go. What the hell is that? Okay, so this is one of them slow burners. This is a slow burner, bro. Dude, 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 dude. Too many sounds right now. Like the mosquitoes brought a swarm of locusts or something. A swarm of gnats. Can I get back to what I was doing, please? It, what, it, bro. Is it the TV? Yeah, it's the TV. The TV turned itself on and I can just about make out a sound over the static. Come closer. Is that? Someone crying? Oh, that was the mouse taking it back. Duh. So do I go back to my work or... What room is this? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, bro. Where am I? That's the downstairs bathroom. That was locked a minute ago. Close this shit. 
Nigga. I didn't put this in here. Can we inspect everything we see? I'm not sure when Jessica painted this. I'm not even sure I've seen it before. Perhaps it's one of the many paintings she ended up hiding from everyone because she was ashamed of how it turned out. What even is that, bro? Bro, it's my second time bringing up SpongeBob. Didn't Squidward or somebody paint this? Oh, nah, bro. A, a gift we got from Jessica's friends a few months ago. The box is moldy and there's a terrible scent coming from it. Can I see it one more time? What even is those shoes? They got the shoes moldy, bro. That baby was running marathons or something. Insurance prick. Why even save his name then? Just give him an emoji. This is this is Franco from your auto insurance. I must inform you that your car has been declared a total loss. Oh yeah, no, I'm the monster here. Hello, all right, what now? Maternity photo album? We're just gonna put this on the ground? A baby photo album I bought and was gonna give Jessica the pages inside are starting to rot. I thought I had gotten rid of this. Why are you saying it like you're not like, bro, you got rid of it. We are currently investigating the details of the accident to determine the liability of the parties involved. They think I did it on, I'm starting to think it too. Oh me, let me know when you have an update, okay? You're, you're responding quick, sir. From 925-525. By the way, sorry for your loss. What was that noise? I think it came from the basement. Who just text my phone? Do I go check? Yeah, I mean, Berlin is a fucking game, isn't it, bro? Like... Yo, 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 I'm... Woo! What is that? Oh, God. What is happening here? This is terrible. This leak is quickly deteriorating the ceiling. I feel like I have to do something or it will collapse soon, but I can barely look at this thing. It's making me lightheaded and nauseous. It's frustrating though. I know I need to take care of it, but I feel so repulsed that all I can do is ignore it. God, I hate looking at it. What is it, bro? What, I gotta see what room this is. What's the, what's the layout here? Oh, it's right above this. Put the painting up, put the painting up, inspect. Jessica painted this while traveling with her parents as a teenager. It was still one of her favorites after all this time. So Jessica is haunting you. You did something, dude. And the tapes are haunting you too. This was Jessica's last painting. She had been feeling uninspired for a while before making this and determined to never paint again, which is a shame because I, I was quite fond of the result. Get this out of here. We're never coming back. Big ass computer, bro. Oh, no. Nah. What do you even do for a living, bro? In a phone book. Put that, put that put right there on the ground. I bought this phone book on my way here, and I'm glad I don't have to look for a plumber later. To, the, the, yeah, 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 yeah. The CD rack. Put that here. Put that here. Put that here. Um, leave, 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 leave. Close the door so you never come back. Get the fuck out of Chameleon Twist. Oh, that's, that's upstairs. Close this door too, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. Am I... Huh? We're done here too. Um, I've done that. I've done this. We just, we, we just have upstairs left, right? Go to your bedroom first. Close that now. Dude, this music is crazy. 
Music sound like we at a at a NYC train station. Now, now I want to get quiet because I called it out. Put the bedding right there. Oh, B brought. Oh, B brought two mattress pads, bro. This shit does not look comfortable. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a pro when it comes to my sleep, bro. My mattress is like a tranquilizer. I'm, I'm not kidding. Why can't I get? I can't. I can't access the box anymore. I gotta get out of here. And the drip is back. Oh, this game is phenomenal. This game is phenomenal. Oh my gosh. I, I, yeah, yeah, you said that already. You said that already. Where is the knock coming from now? You don't have anything to say about there not being a door or a window anymore, bro. I don't want to eat these anymore. I'm going to eat one. I can't leave, bro. That's... I thought because that was the only window left, I could leave. Can't tell me. Oh, what the f is this? Dude, 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 it won't. It won't let me out. It won't let me out, bro. What am I even looking at, dog? Like, bro. I literally can't get around this big ass. Ball, bro, like I, I'm stuck. I don't like this. There she go. There she go. I gotta find my wife in the church, bro. Cause I don't need nothing like this happening to me, ever. What did I do? What What did I do, bro? You look like Stuart Little in the face. My voice is coming through so raspy, bro. Where are we, ma'am? Did you just headbutt me? I'm gone. I'm gone. Thank you for, huh? The house is upside down. There's a back door, though. I ain't, st you got me. My phone still work. I got service. Mom, it was your fault. My mom would never do that. What? All right, like, what are you talking about? What? The door is still locked, huh? Yo, y'all still blowing me up. Such a disappointment. Oh, no, nah, bro, I'm hacked. Somebody leaked my number for sure. Yep. What the f I'm back in the basement. My voice, I don't know how they're doing this, but my voice is literally staticky. What am I hearing, bro? That sounded like somebody was just fucking chasing me. Dog, do you want to live or not? Get up out of here. What is that? These paintings seem to have been painted by Jessica, but I've never seen them before. Are these are these symbols to help me leave? I just got to make sure ain't nobody chasing me, bro, because I can run way too fast, dog. Like real shit. Holy f I think that means I lose, right? Like when I end up back in here or no? Dude, y'all 
y'all sign? I mean, y'all sounds? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. She seems distracted by something right in front of her. Did you see the latest paintings I made? Each took an eternity, in, an eternity to finish, but I think they turned out perfect. Why did you make them? I don't really know. I just had to. I felt... I was thinking of you and our baby Laura, you know? That's, that's why they look so wonderful. Jessica. Do you remember that question I, I used to ask you? Look at her eyes, bro. What does God look like? Yes. What does God look like? Huh. It, it's funny that you were never religious, but you've always tried to help me understand why we could never truly see him. And I really appreciate that, you know? Honey, I'm so sorry for what happened. But I see him now. <laughs> I see him and he's beautiful. Do you see him too? Heavenly Father, forgive me for all my sins, bro. Because this level of torment, amen. Let me finish up before I talk to y'all, bro. This level of torment, I never won in my life ever, bro. Not even in a freaking dream, bro. I want to eat three bags of McDonald's and still not have a dream this bad, bro. On me, never, bro. I'm not, I'm, I'm not trying to push nothing on y'all, bro. But this my channel, bro. And Jesus is my Lord and Savior, bro. Y'all got me bent, bro. Am I playing as the character or as me, bro? I'm sorry, but I don't. I don't. I don't know who you see, bro. Not in here. Ah, pity. I wish you could see him, too. So powerful and astounding and devastating. I feel like tearing my face off, but in the most wonderful way. I've been trying to forgive myself. Oh, don't worry about me anymore. We have our baby to care for now, silly. Do you hear that? She's crying, the poor thing. I should go check on our little girl. She's probably hungry. Get the f out. Dog I, dog, I can't see anything right now, bros. I'm stuck in here with her. How you gonna feed her? There's no fridge. Did I lose? Yo, where the exit? I should have said I see, I see, I see him too, huh? But I don't, bro. I don't know, bro. He, we ain't talking about the same God. I promise we're not, bro. I don't hear any crying. Can I close the door on her or something? Oh, this is a basement door. I'm gone. The doors. <gasps> Look at you, honey. See? I told your. What? That thing is moving now. I told your father you're hungry, aren't you? Don't worry, Laura. Mama, mommy will feed you. Oh, hello, darling. You've been away for a while. We've barely seen you recently, come to think of it. Did he have her trapped? Nah, bro. Where have you been? Don't you miss us? It's so lonely and empty here, and, and Laura doesn't stop crying for her dad. Of course I miss you. Then I have a wonderful idea. Why don't you join us? Oh, Laura misses you so much, and she's so hungry all the time. I really want to satiate her hunger. I can't see her suffering like this. I can't join you. I'm so sorry. I see. Oh, she's so hungry. Look at her. I'll go ahead and feed her now then. Pity you can't join us. She really needs her daddy. Was I having them locked? No, because I had dreams about the car crash, bro. Am I just being hot? What's finna happen? Is she like Kirby? She finna like gain powers and shit? I'm gone, bro. Let the family go? I click let family go. I click let family go. I'm trying to run for my life though. Open.
so I answered it. Are there multiple endings? There are multiple endings. There are multiple endings to this. take a stab at this and just say I don't know because there's multiple parts right you have the dream itself where there's a car crash and they and he kills the, uh, the, the bro I almost want to play this again I almost want to play this again the dream we don't even see a car crash she's oh hold on this whole time I've been calling it a car crash bro there was no car crash. She was dead in the passenger. This nigga killed her. I got the good ending? What? There was no car crash, bro. He killed her. And was taking her to the house and left her in the basement, I feel like. But who was the old owner? Who was the old owner, though? Yo, Scary Cube. Scary Cube. I'm, 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 I'm here. I'm here, bro. I'm here, bro. I got to see what else you, you, you've you come out with. <laughs> like bro what are we waiting on look this is what i was about to say look there's there's what i thought was the car crash but you look over and she's dead stab him to the stomach bro there's no car crash then you go back in the tapes and you see that he had already known that he was about to kill his family you have him having dreams about driving his wife down the same straight ass road that you drive down at the beginning of the game to the same house i feel like he had killed her and then locked her in the basement with the baby. I don't know who that lady was that came to the place that said, we've met before. Do I have amnesia? Was that first tape before the killing and that second tape after the killing? Because they did say, why is he acting as if it's already done? I have no freaking clue, bro. I, if y'all if y'all have better theories than I do, because I I don't even have a complete theory yet, bro. Make sure you let me know in the comments below. This game, like I said, these stories, bro. I'm just curious to see. This is something we can talk about, though. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe, like, subscribe, you hit the bell. I want to post more videos, bro. I love you, and I will see you in the next video. The windows are gone. Love y'all, bro. I'll see you. Peace.